guys, welcome to my channel, Naturally Dre. In today's video, I'm going to show you how I make my sweet and sour chicken. So if you like how that sounds, stay tuned for more. So I'm going to use ground chilli, two eggs, some sugar, baking powder, and dark soy sauce, tomato ketchup, vinegar, black pepper, salt, plain flour, and corn flour. I seasoned my chicken with some salt and pepper and left that overnight in the fridge. I used five tablespoons of flour, three teaspoons of corn flour, and a quarter spoon of baking powder. Crack two eggs into the bowl. So your aim here is to create a non-thick consistency, so it's a nice smooth batter. And I achieved that by adding a bit of water bit by bit to make sure that I didn't go overboard. So I'm going to make the sweet and sour sauce and what you're going to need is one cup of ketchup, then a quarter of a cup of vinegar, a quarter cup of soy sauce and half a cup of sugar. I added a small amount of chili flakes to the sauce and stirred that but you can add a bit more if you wish. So the next step is really easy guys to follow. All you need to do is dip your chicken pieces into the batter and then into the frying pan. So for the next step, you want to make sure that you preheat some oil in a non-stick pan and make sure that the level of oil is high enough to sort of cover the chicken pieces that you're about to fry. In this step, make sure that you separate your chicken pieces as they are frying. You don't want them to stick together. Because I had quite chunky chicken pieces, I made sure to fry each side for roughly about four to five minutes. And that also allowed me to get a nice brown golden look. So right now you have fried chicken, doesn't it look so good? It's golden and brown and it tastes so good. So most recipes I've seen, they usually add diced up bell peppers and onions and pineapple, but I simply use red onion with a bit of oil and I sauteed them a bit so it could bring out the flavor a bit more. And it's totally up to you guys what you want to add at this stage. I'm not a big fan of pineapple in sweet and sour chicken, so I just kept it really simple. After frying the onions for a few minutes, I went on to add the sauce that I made earlier. And you want to let that boil for a few minutes with your onions. Then you can go ahead and add your chicken pieces to the sauce and mix everything together. Hey. 
So I let the sauce seep into the chicken for roughly about two to three minutes before turning the stove off. And this is the outcome, you guys. Lovely, sweet and sour chicken. Thank you guys for watching this video. Please be sure to like, subscribe and leave a comment down below and I'll see you in my next video.